Hello students, we are talking about the operation of the joiner today and then later on I'll have a safety video for the joiner as well. As you know, you've got to uh, pass the test by 100% and then you're able to performance test on each of the machines, okay? And then with permission, you're able to use the machines on your projects. So talking about the joiner here. Um, First of all, before I put the GoPro on, let's uh, take a look underneath here. Um, of course, we've got our in-feed table, we've got our out-feed table, we've got our fence, we've got our guard, okay? The out-feed table is never adjusted, okay? Um, if you were to do that, um, if, if it becomes out of adjustment, we can't get a straight edge on our board. That outfeed table has to be set up exactly, uh, precisely at the same level as our cutter heads. And you can see our cutter heads are those one inch by one inch blades that are helical on the head itself. Okay, so we don't adjust at all. Okay, you can see there, there are adjustments there if it uh, was out of alignment but uh, to keep it in alignment we don't want to touch those on the infeed side we would unlock here and here as well okay lefty loosey then we've got our handle okay that will be able to move it up and down right now if you can see it i've got it set at a sixteenth of an inch that's recommended if we wanted to take off more because we had a really crooked edge and we didn't want to have to join all day, we could take it up to an eighth inch, which would be maximum, okay? It'll do more than that, but uh, for our program, eighth inch is max, sixteenth is recommended, and this is how we would adjust it with the handle here, here once it's unlocked. Right now I've got it locked down. Let's go ahead and lock this down. We're going to keep that at a sixteenth, okay? So I'm not going to have you guys even adjust it for what we're doing. It's, it's adjusted for you. It's ready to go. Uh, you may have noticed that we don't have a gate on this machine on our dust collection system. So it's open at all times. Don't have to worry about opening the gate on it. Let me put my GoPro on. Let's talk about a little more of the operation here. Uh, so we've got our fence, right? in our fence support here if we were to unlock here we are able to move the fence after some use we may find that we have a blade with a nick in it and it's not cutting uh, perfectly so we can move our fence or if we had um, a wider board you know we might want to move mm -hmm. it but um, I've got it set up right here and we lock it down and it is um, stationary then Okay, we can also tilt the fence, right? We can unlock it, use our wheel. Right now, if you can see, I've got it dialed in to zero. All right? For the projects that we're doing in class, we don't need to make that adjustment, okay? As is in most cases, well, all cases for our machinery, if there needs to be an adjustment on the machine, I will adjust it, okay? But it is, in the case of the joiner, it's set up for you right now. I've checked it for 90, and we're within a degree or two, right? As close as I can get it with our uh, speed square here. And then if you remember right, if the two parts coming together that are jointed to make the joint are opposite, in other words, this one's an O, so it's out, away from the fence, jointed. This one is an eye, so it goes in. You remember that demonstration? If I were to uh, <laughs> put them together, both as eyes, I've purposely made that quite an angle, right? So what would that be? Maybe uh, uh, 10 degrees off each or 20 degrees? That wouldn't make a very good joint, would it? But when we flip them, one is an I, one is an O. Now they complement instead of multiplying the error. 
right? To make a, a tight joint. So what I'm trying to say is this doesn't have to be dialed into a exactly zero for you to get a tight joint on the panel that you're gluing up. If we do the IO technique on each, each uh, joint, one's an I, one's an O. Next one, IO, so they come together and they complement rather than multiplying the error. Okay, so we have our on off here. Push in on the green to start it. Push the red to stop, okay? You never want to leave a machine with it still running, okay? And that's a general rule in the shop. Okay, I think that's everything that you need to know on the joiner. The joiner, once again, is for joining a straight edge on all parts, if they're single parts or pieces of a panel, okay? Uh, if we have a board that is shorter than the fence is tall, we use push sticks. So let's go ahead and make a cut here. One push stick in front, one in back. Notice how I'm hooking the, the lip over the wood. And on the front part, I'm using the, the nose of the push stick and then our lip to push down with the nose and in to the fence with our little leg or lip there. You want equal pressure with the left hand and the right hand. Keeping it tight to the fence and to the bed and we take it through. Nice and slow. If you go slow, you get mill marks that are smaller. If you go fast, big mill marks, weaker joint. If we've got a tall piece, it's taller than the fence in height, we can use our hands. Left hand, palm up, pushing into the fence. Right hand, palm down. Okay, and we take it through nice and slow. To get our straight edge. Guys, that's all we're using this joiner for. There are a few other things we can use it for, but we don't need to in this class. We've got other machinery, and I'll talk about that on the safety test. Okay, uh, next video will be our safety for the joiner.